Hi everybody, how is it going? In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to implement JSON Web Tokens authentication in Django REST framework. We're going to be testing this application with Postman. If you want to see how you can use this on the client side, uh, Dev Gray has already done a great video on this. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, it was made over two years ago, but it is still a pretty great video uh, so definitely check now so i'm gonna start by creating a new django project uh, i'm gonna open the terminal and first thing first i'm gonna start by creating a virtual environment i can name this virtual environment whatever you want I use this is the command I use to create a virtual environment. I'm sure there are different ways you can use to create a virtual environment. And uh, this is my favorite. It's after creating the virtual environment, I'm gonna go ahead and activate it with pip pip install Django itself and Django REST framework. And we're going to use this package Django REST framework. Simple JWT. Okay, the installation is over. Now we can go ahead and create a new project with Django admin start project. I'm going to name this project backend. As you can see, the project has been created. Now I'm going to navigate to the project that was created. Before uh, doing anything, I'm going to create a new application uh, in Django. Uh, this app with pymanage.py start up this app i'm gonna name this application users uh, so this is where you would have user authentication uh user login user sign up those kind of and those kind of functionality in the, the settings.py yeah it's where i'm gonna you i'm gonna add all the applications that this project is going to depend on. First, we're gonna have the REST framework. REST framework. Simple JWT. And then the application we created, the user's application we created. Okay, and now I will come down here and do configurations related to REST framework. Uh, so here I'm going to test the basic configuration and I will explain them later. Before I explain this, I have to import the time delta from that time. I'll come here on top and import it. I'm gonna delete this from that time. Import time delta. Okay, so here in the settings, I'm telling the last framework uh, to use the default permission classes. So, I'm using the is authenticated permission, uh, so meaning that for anyone to access our API, they have to be authenticated. And for the authentication classes, I'm telling it to you, I'm telling my application to use JWT authentication. And down here, I'm doing the JW tokens uh, configurations. Uh, so the first key is the access token lifetime. This specifies the time that the token is going to be valid. 
they have sent it to 60 minutes, uh, which means after an hour, our access token is going to expire. Refresh token is going to expire after one day. This is the basic setup for the JW token. It is specifies when the access token and the refresh token are going to expire. If you want detailed information about uh, these keys and what kind of settings you can do here, uh, the official documentation, uh, it, it explains every key and what it does and how it affects the behavior of, of the API. Anyway, now let's get started. Let's come here in the users and create a new file. This is going to be API. I'm going to name this API.py. Now I'm going to come here in the users application and come to the views.py. Uh, this is where I'm going to implement our API, or basically our API. Uh, I'm gonna make I'm I'm gonna keep it simple. Okay, now I'm gonna explain what this I'm gonna explain what this API is doing. So this is an API which I can use to retrieve user information by making a get request, or I can submit a post request. I can use to create a new user. I uh, so in here to get a new user, we check if the user is authenticated. If the user is not authenticated, we raise the not authenticated error. Otherwise, we return the response containing the username, first name, last name, and the email of the user. Uh, also, remember that I said in the settings.py, here in the settings.py, we said for the user to access this API, they have to be authenticated. Uh, but here, since we're going to since someone who is not authenticated can submit a request to create account, I have set the permission classes to allow any requests, both authenticated and unauthenticated. I make sure you import all these dependencies. Now here in the post method, it's where we create a new user. Now we create a new account and we, we provide a refresh token after creating the account uh, we, pro, we we return a refresh token create a new a refresh token for the user this is coming from rest framework simple jt tokens uh, we are importing this refresh token uh, now in the urls we can create a new endpoints for this api I'm going to create a new urls.py file. Make this API accessible. Okay, from Django URLs, I'm going to import the path function and from the rest framework. And from the rest framework, simple JWT views, I'm going to import the token obtained pair view and token refresh view and from our views i'm gonna import the user api i'm going to find url patterns the first path is going to be the path for obtaining a token uh, so basically this is like a login api and point are where you submit your username and password. If the username and password are correct, you get both access and the refresh tokens. So here we use the token obtain pair view as view name. To make this clear, you can say name login path API path can refresh you can refresh view as view and you can refresh this is the end point you submit your 
refresh token and you get a new access token. They use now we have the user API, the one we've we've added the user API as we as well. Before we run the server, we have to run these migrations. So I'm gonna run pymanage.py migrate. This should apply migrations to the A to the database. Now I can go ahead and run the server, start the server by running py manage py run server uh, it's gonna run at this address uh local host basically we also have to add these urls in the main application uh but anyway here i made a typo it is supposed to be url patterns so make sure you type that correctly. And now I come, I can come here in the backend urls.py. We will import the include function method from Django URLs. Now we can come here, pass include users URLs. See, this is basic Django. You are already familiar with this, so I will not go into details. Now I'm going to open Postman and see if we can test our endpoints. So here I'm going to stop the server and create a super user or admin, if you will. pymanage.py create super user. Gonna be admin gmail.com password. So now I'm going to use zero, zero, password is too short, uh, bypass password validation, the super user has been created, so I'm going to run the server again. I'm going to come to the user interface and try to log in with the super user. We also here with the admin, I'm going to set a name first name last name so we can see if we can retrieve this information and i use john last name no save it so here yeah, i'm gonna try to get the token uh this is gonna be a post request uh if we send this without providing the username and password we're not gonna get this error that the username and password are needed. We're gonna provide the username and password. We're gonna send this as a JSON object. Username that was admin password was zero. So if I send this, I should be able to obtain an access token and a refresh token yeah if i used the wrong password i should get an error of course okay let's go back okay so now i can use this access token uh to get to be authenticated so now this time we can try to hit this and point and get user information i'm gonna do come here create a new tab copy this api this is a user api if we try to send a, a get request how uh, we will be we get an error like we know we are not authorized okay so we have to include our token the way we include it is we come here in the authorization uh we choose which type we want to use it's their token i will copy this access token we got copy from here paste it and send uh, as you can see, so we get authenticated, we get our the username, first name, 
first email. Okay, so now I would like to use this refresh token uh, to get a new access token. At the end point was token refresh. So also, as you can see, I need to provide the refresh token here. This is gonna be refresh. This should give me a new refresh access token. Now uh, this is the new token. Also, I said we can create a new user with this. We can, with this user API, we can create a new user. Let's test this out. I'll come here. We'll use the same endpoint. This has to be a post request. Come here to body, log, JSON username test test user i can test password we don't for now we are not doing password validation or anything for now it's beyond the scope of this video if we send this we should be able to create a, an account for this user I, let's come here in the Django administration and see if the user was created. As you can see, the user has been created. Uh, so that's pretty much it.